get it out from there. I can do it, but if mm -hmm. you have it at hand. Okie dokie. Do, do, do. Yeah, give me two seconds. No problem. Dun, dun, dun. Did you have institute, Emily? Yeah. Was it good today? Well, I always, you know, as usual. <laughs> Was it good? Yeah. There's one guy there that likes to mix things up. He asks questions without really wanting to know the answer. And he, like, takes over from the teacher and tries to teach us false doctrine. But yeah, kind of put him in his there's, place. Kind of nice. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's always nice. there's always one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's always one. But yeah. <laughs> I'm taking a Book of Mormon class this semester. It's been fun. It's been good. Nice. <laughs> Have you read the Book of Mormon all the way through before? Or this is kind of like your first oh. time? What was it? Sorry? I said, Have you read the Book of Mormon all, all the way through before? Or is this kind of your first time? No, I've read it. I've read it before. Um, nice. So, for the, I, yeah, I've read it like normally. But for this class, we're like taking specific pag passages of the scriptures and we are analyzing the context of it, like what are the author's priorities and purposes. And after that, we go into, okay, what are some personal applications? Um, so it's interesting because we usually go into what are the personal e applications for us? Yeah. And sometimes we don't fo focus as much on the context, yeah. but we're doing the other way around and it's been interesting. Hard at first, but it's good. <laughs> Oops. There we go, guys. This is so like this is the crossroads here in campus. Um, so now that we have the World Cup, the World World Cup, it gets really uh, crowded whenever we have a game. And we have students from all over the countries, you know, rooting for their teams and just, it's a big party. It's really fun. <laughs> Thanks. Hey guys, just to let you know, if I suddenly get disconnected from this video call, it's probably my phone's battery. Because even though it's plugged in, uh, it has some difficult, you know, problems getting charged. So if that happens, just keep going, and I'll I'll get uh, my computer. Okay. I'll get my computer, but hopefully you're right. charged. So I will share my screen. Thank you. Appreciate you going first. Yeah. Oh man, one of my thingies didn't show up. Um. So this is a landslide that happened in California, just south of Gorda, which just, I guess, some little town. But it ended up taking out the highway, and as you can tell, it like spilled into the ocean in the whole nine. So one of the articles that I was looking at about it shows how big it was. I think they said 35 to 40 feet deep layer of dirt. Ooh. Wow. For about, and it was about 1,500 feet wide. Wow. So more than a million tons of rock and dirt. That's crazy. That's and crazy. So, but 
Um, it was caused by the heavy rain and saturation of the sediment. So once it got to the point that uh, it was fully saturated, it became too heavy. So then it, uh, gravity took over and it just yeah, took wow. it out. So, hey Ben, I have a question. Yeah. So uh, I cannot see your image. However, uh, is there like lots of vegetations in that region, or is like basically there isn't much vegetation? Um, it looked like there was decent, like nothing major, not like trees. But because uh, mm -hmm. this is my Google shot that I still have up of it. And if you look at it, I mean, it's it had vegetation, probably not nothing crazy though. But it's pretty greenish, you know, all over. Yeah. But oh, I mean, California cool. has been hit with a lot of drought, so if the vegetation was dying, then that could have definitely contributed to it. Yeah. It was um, so interesting. I think it was reading the geo journal of you guys because i don't know it was emily i don't know if it was you emily but there's a part that it says that because of the um, dry land i think colorado i guess yeah the dry land is very unstable and from what i knew up to that point is that lens uh, like you know landslide are caused by soggy soil you know and uh, saturation of water and I was like, what does that happen with the drone? And then you explained it very well. And then I think it was in Ben's uh, uh, journal that he answered the other question I had. I don't know. They they were kind of complementing each other. So I was like, yeah. oh, yeah, that makes sense. That was why I was asking about vegetation, because I think that the roots make it so that the ground keeps more stable. And then there is, like, fires and things like that. It gets unstable and it's... No more likely to have land, land, landslides. Uh, sorry, I haven't had a chance to look at the questions yet. But <laughs> glad it helped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it helped. It helped a lot. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, if you guys can still, I know Jershon, you can't see it right now, but I wasn't actually that impressed with the elevation profile because it just seems like it uh, it just smoothed it out. So I'm assuming before it was a lot steeper drop, but mm -hmm. the elevation profile now it just obviously it's just trying to reach its point where it stabilizes. So, but yeah, now it's just nice and smooth and just a gentle going down till it hits the ocean or sea level. Yeah. Oh, I do. So, do you guys think I missed anything on here potentially? Because I have the scarp, I have the earth flow, and it's caused was caused by the heavy rain and the soil saturation. But I also put on there the droughts may have contributed by the because of the vegetation thing. Yeah, the, the you can, I don't know if we need to label it, it's kind of obvious, but there's always the debris flow, kind of. Um, and I don't know, because I cannot see the image, but sometimes there's like a deposit, depositation by the the button of this landslide. I don't know, just, actually, I was looking at Google and before this, I was like, what are the features of a landslide? <laughs> so those are the ones that I found out about, but yeah. Those are things that come to mind. <laughs> but I think those the ones that you mentioned are the most important ones. Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can do something here. Third image. Upload from computer. Okay. So, should I share with you guys my my screen? I'm gonna try to do it. Okay. Gmail. Okay. 
ini. Okay. So, so, I grab my laptop. Ben, I'm sorry. I didn't. I couldn't really hear you. You said yours was caused from like water. Increased rain flow? Yeah, so the cause is soil saturation. So there's heavy rains. And then I put possibly the, the droughts because it could have caused some of the vegetation to be dying, which could have contributed. But the actual, the official cause is just soil saturation. Okay. So Ben, should I should I go with mine? Am I good to start now? The, yeah, I think you're good. Share the screen. Yep. All right. So, the one that I got for this one is called the Haitian Bala. Um. Let me show you some pictures on, on Google. Kind of this is a zone where it happened. You can see like there are um, kind of mountains and rivers. It's a mountainous region. And now I'm going to pull it out on Google Earth to show you guys what happened here. So this is the thing here. Can I go? I'm going to zoom out first. So we can see that it's a very mountainous area. And there are some rivers here. They are pretty curvy. I forgot the name stream pattern is not is not braided. I forgot the other name of it. But anyway, so the river goes down this way. And this region right can here. Can you see anything of a screen, Emily? No, I was hoping you could. <laughs> hey, Dershawn, right now we can't see anything. It's just black. Oh, so, oh sorry. Okay, let's let sorry. me see. Um, screen share. Let's see. Okay. Can you guys see something now? Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. It should work now. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. Uh, it's a right now. Turn on camera. Does it work? Does it work? Well, we can see you now. I can see you now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to share the screen. Let's see. Can, can, you, can you guys, guys see, see now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so this is the region when the lens might happen here. here. So we can, so we can see, see some rivers, rivers coming in all, in all the way up, up. Oh, all the all way down. Yeah. yeah. So, so they, they can come here, here. And they, they keep, keep going. going. And we go down this, this region, region, right here where my little arrow is. That's, that's the slide. slide. So, so it, it was, was. So, so what I think happened here, it was saturated. It was oversaturated by water as well. Um, so that kind of made the the soil unstable and soggy and wet. And that plus gravity as well, it got to the point where it just went down 
and we can see like it's interesting because it goes down and then I guess it's gonna cause some kind of deposit. Um, can you guys hear me? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I cannot hear you guys. But let me see. Um, so I think it's gonna cause some kind of deposit depositation by this side of the river. Um, let me share. Oh wait. Let me fix this because I cannot hear you guys. <laughs> And you can hear us, right? I'm going to pull out a picture I have here. Um, this one, I labeled it these a few things. Oh, where did it go? Are you looking for the shared Google Doc? I sent that through an email. Oh, My here thing. it is. Okay, let me see. <laughs> let me let me try to log into my my phone because I cannot hear with this computer. Okay. I'll open the link here. Okay, I'm I'm back. So sorry, sorry for that, guys. That's what you got. Okay. So, guys, can you see the picture here? Mm -hmm. So, what I identified and my writing with this painting, this painting program is horrible, but here we can see some scarves. And I guess in the middle. This area right here is called the slumping mass. And then we'll have the debris slow. And at the bottom, we have something called the two, the two. And as I said, I think this is going to be some deposition right here. And that might affect the course of the river here because it's going to get on the way of it. Um, and it's interesting, it's really it's kind of like a residential area. You can see all these houses um, around. Yeah. Oh, my phone died. Dang it. <laughs> I won't be able to hear you guys. <laughs> but let me see if there's like a chat thing here as well. But yeah, those are the features I was able to identify. Basically, saturation by water and the gravity causes landslide. And those are some features related to it. Nice. Yes. All right, all right. So there's also this group chat. So I'll be I'll be communicating by the group chat here next to the screen because my audio doesn't work. But that's that's pretty much uh, what I had, guys. Looks good. Very nice. The image is a little I couldn't. It's a little distorted, but I got what you're getting at. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, it's my turn. Dun, dun, dun. Meantime, I'm going to get a different computer as well. <laughs> but keep going, keep going. No problem. Can we look? Okay. Can you all see my screen? Oh, yeah. I can see your screen. Yeah, I cannot. Hello? I can see your screen. Okay. So, this is from Colorado. Crazy with landslides. Is your computer still working? Oh, it's so weird. 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 Oh, it's so
Estamos al aire. Me too. Okay. So here's the, the different captions. So as you Hi, guys. See, lump, flow, you can tell that it kind of dip down. It doesn't really hold up. Um, here's the, the main chart here. The source area of source where everything came from. You can see the big hole up here. And then all the down here as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was due to it being really dry. Because of the lack okay. of I'm the back. like you can see this here and there should be a lot more snow on the mountain right now and it's been a really dry season, dry year. And so because of that, you know, the trees aren't really attaching their roots to anything. Yeah, the vegetation dies. So nothing really keeping the soil in. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a pretty steep incline. You can, that's what this says right here. Barely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't really see vegetation, so that's another thing that I thought maybe that could be the cause of it. Floods. Like when the rain comes, it comes so suddenly that it doesn't have time to soak into the soil or be really good for anything. It just comes real quick and carries everything away. And so that being really dry beforehand is kind of the perfect mixture for a slide. Yeah. These are the different elevation profiles. So this one to the left, one straight across it. That's why it's kind of bumpy. And then this one to the right is just going down the landslide. You can see mm -hmm. it's just a pretty straight, like, That's really nice straight way down. It doesn't really have any debris buildup on its way down. It's just down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, and that is about it. Is there anything that I missed? Any questions? I think that was great. That was great. You know, different features. You even had like two profiles. It was very great. I also oh like I also like the um, with the writing and the writing that goes <laughs> so large to in your mind. I did. <laughs> very, very good, very dedicated, Emily. That was awesome. You got this one. In here. Kind of. Do y'all have any questions? I don't think so. Yeah, it's really you did good already. Okay. So do we have to put all these pictures in the same write-up? Yeah, I've been kind of typing what we've been saying a little bit into it throughout this, and then I put your picture up there. Sorry, I'm trying to trying to show you guys. So I put your picture up there. I didn't steal Ben's quick enough before. Oh, I ha, ha, ha. But <laughs> I know. You, for, you, oh my gosh, you are so good, Emily. You already had it taken care of. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I wish I could have done like a picture like yours, but I noticed that I was using my screenshot painting tools and that they're not the best. I should have used uh, painting, the painting software. That's much better. Google Hangouts. Honestly, it's just a I'm gonna stop. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. Need some.
consistency here. I need to have this picture. Okay. <laughs> All, right. All right. Anything? How long have we been on for? Say that again. Um, you know what's the worst that like, many of these players that have landslide, they're even more like to have the second one now, but they've got the first one. Mm -hmm. Is that even more honesty? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I Yeah. yeah. Question: Do you do flipping? I was flipping and things like that. Did I do anything else? Like what? Like what? Do you do flipping? Do you flip houses? Like residential? I was just working on one. Yeah. My so very first now, one. You know, I was thinking this is good knowledge because then we don't like you don't want to make any investments. In, a, in an area where you think it could be like a potential landslide, you know? Yeah. Very true. Yeah. <laughs> that's good, that's good. <laughs> Quick question about the lesson. And I know this is stupid of me to ask at this point. I haven't finished the reading. What is the scarf? Is that just like the rim on the top from where it fell down? Like the scar of it? Yeah, so that's like where it revealed um, like the sheer facing of it. So whatever, like, let's just say part of it slides down. It'd be this part right here. That's hard. Okay. So like on my picture, when you looked at it, that one was real easy to tell, like the exact line of where it happened. So like where everything slid, what's left behind. That would be the scarp, and most of the time it's right at the top. The good question, good question. I need to finish all the reading still. Now, there are a lot of names to to remember. Like yeah. Brother Sherblin said, this is going to be like learning in Spanish, like new vocabulary. <laughs> There is so many definitions in this reading. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> but awesome guys. Um, was there anything else? We didn't have to do anything else for the assignment. No. I think this time was pretty pretty simple. I think we did it. I think we did it. Okay. Nice. Sounds good.